not attempt to adjust your dial. But a bum bum bum. It's your boy Big Vern. This is App Stupid, the fastest growing sports and entertainment show on these YouTube streets. You're welcome. Holla. Welcome, Brown. Yo, Puerto Rican, I Asian. Name is Five Dog from the Zulu Nation. Man. What be like yourself, boy? Be set to try call quest backspin this month. A lot of fun. 1991, we're going to cover the rap albums, what was popping, what was hot, who played out, who was whacking, all that. Make sure you get with us here at App Stupid. Whew, that was a whole lot. <laughs> so if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Make sure you subscribe, like the content, keep sharing it. This is just questions for elevated sports fan, And we get past and beyond the you suck mentality. We just keep asking questions like, hey, man. I don't know. That might be suspect. But recap real quick. We talked about Kentucky and the Stoops and the boys. Was you really impressed? That team with that resume and you all 31 to nothing. And it's sad when 31 to nothing is a, trust me, it's a great win for some programs. But with Kentucky's caliber and the people that they have. I said, I, hey, you like it, I love it. Then we talked about Indiana and how they played a game against FIU. <laughs> I just didn't see like I got my money's worth. They got Western Illinois Saturday. We'll see what that looks like. From the Big Ten, gonna go to the ACC, talk some football. I hated to do this. I don't need to be right, but the rise and fall of Florida State. I'm calling it now. I'm banging the gavel. You lost to Boston College at home. Come on. And when people kept ranking Florida State, first of all, the disclaimer. On this channel, you can go back and see where Clemson and Florida State tried to sue their way out of the ACC. They wanted to go independent. However, if you're looking from an independent side of the business right now, how can you honestly, how can you honestly play them and get anything out of it? Why would you pay Clemson to do anything right now? Dabo Sweeney told you, in the press in June, they don't have an established NIL and they can't afford any good players to come. Let that sink in. He told you this. Clemson hasn't mattered since Brett Venerables left. I said it. I said it out loud. You want some? Come get some. Florida State had a good season. However, why would they be ranked in the top 10? They only had 10 guys coming back, four on offense, four on defense, two on special teams. Ooh, that's not enough to get you ranked anywhere. In this new era of NIL, it's going to challenge conventional sports wisdom and throw it out the window because you're looking at kids with lofty resumes. But these kids, they have to fit a system. What system do you all run? Yeah, it's cool if you raid the portal and you load up on kids, but what system do you run? Because there's no use of getting a five-star kid if you don't run that system to enhance his abilities. So just because you are the ranked fifth class in the portal and you got all of these guys coming and then the NIL money is flowing in, really? What did that get you? You went overseas and got beat by Georgia Tech. And a rebound game, a must-have game, and you all know how I feel about Bill O'Brien. It's well documented, my disgust with that dude and any one of his elk. But he was able to come into Tallahassee and beat you all. And for all of the bluster, all of the, the hot dog and and who you thought you were. It's sad to see what you're up against now. You fell all the way out of the top 10. He went from getting an extension last year. He could honestly be on the hot seat this year. 
It's the quickest turnaround in the history of sports that I've witnessed. And I don't know where you go with this. I just don't know where you go with this. Their schedule isn't really strong enough to climb back into contention in the ACC. We'll go over that schedule when we get back from a quick 20 from a unofficial sponsor of the show. This is Big Vern. Roll a clip. Yes, McDonald's. I'm loving it. Order online, download the app, or visit the good folks at your local McDonald's. McDonald's. I'm loving it. So, when we last left off, we were talking about Florida State and the, I would just say, the collapse of Florida State. At home. Only putting up 13 points. Getting goose-egged in the first quarter and the fourth quarter come on man that's awful how can you have 272 passing yards and only 13 points make that make sense 272 yards and passing and you only have 13 points 21 yards rushing That's ridiculous. That's not good enough to beat some middle school football teams out here. Let alone beating a college. Oh my goodness. It's just three of 14 on third down. Oh my, three of 13. You all couldn't stay on the field. You put your defense at risk. Anytime you see that number is that lopsided, all you have to do is turn around and look at Boston College that had 263 yards on the ground. They had more yards. (laughs) They had 263 yards on the ground to your 272 in the air. In a game you had to have. You bought this on yourself. All of the grandstanding. We got done dirty. Florida State blah, 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 blah. Seven penalties for 50 yards. That's frustration. Fatigue. Frustration. Bunch of guys who really don't know their jobs. I'm just... uh, Then you throw in interceptions against Boston College? Boston College wasn't raked to be anything in the ACC this year. So I don't know how bad that is. You have to beat Memphis. That's sad to say, here in college football, you've got to go ahead and get rid of Memphis. Now you get a week off, but do you really need a week? (laughs) <laughs> I know you flew over to England and played Georgia Tech and gave out $10 tickets so somebody can come and watch that and you could fool the fans into thinking you had this global reach but nah nah flag on the play gonna call horseshit on that you end up losing on the last second field goal any loss is heartbreaking but to lose like that is always gut-wrenching. Come back to the States, get a home game, you get BC, you think you can lick your wounds, you can beat up on Boston College, get some of that courage back, a little bit of that confidence. Nah, none of that. The Eagles were having none of that. <laughs> and as a result, September 14th, you're in a do-or-die game against Memphis, bro. 
here it is. You were the talk of college football last year. Mike Norville, he's the hottest coach, blah, blah, blah. He just knows how to win. His teams, they just survive. They they keep playing till the end. And then when you got snubbed by Alabama, everybody was on your side. And then they turned on you because you thought you were more than what you were. So you got to eat all this humble pie. It's the third week in college football for you all. And you're in a do or die game against Memphis. To even have a remotely good season, you all have to run the table. And that's highly unlikely. Gonna promote a rap album here in quick 20. This is Vern. It's unofficial. Let's get it. It's your boy, Big Vern, promoting another rap album this month, Free Butter, by L. Mac and Geechee Gotti. In stores now. Get it where you legally consume music, whether it be Apple Music, Google Play, or Spotify. My personal favorites are Schizo, Seven Days Straight, Won't Let It, For The Moment, and No Honor. In stores now. Yeah, shout out to Geechee, and um, it's just, like I said, Geechee Gotti, hip-hop, it's crazy, free butter, Hill Mac, yeah, go ahead and get you, get it in stores now. Getting back on these Tallahassee faithful, and I'm your fan, trust me, I'm your fan, I'm your friend, do what you know good. You play Cal on the 21st of September, that's a 50-50 game, SMU on the road, 50-50 game, Clemson, I don't know who's worse. <laughs> I don't know who's worse. I don't even know why Clemson is still, they put them in the top 25. They went up to Georgia, and I know Dabo fed everybody that rat poison talking about, if Clemson was a stock, you better buy now, because we're just going up. Man, shut your dumb ass up. Going up to what, six points a game? Is that what we doing? What kind of time y'all on around here? It's the clown show. Then you play Duke. I don't know who wins that game. Miami is going to crush your skull. In the words of the Jokic brothers, they're going to crush your skulls. They're going to punch and crush your skulls. They're going to jump up and down on your skulls like a little man. Huh? <laughs> North Carolina, you got to go against Joe Biden, a.k.a. Mac Brown. It's my boy. It's my boy. We're going to come. We're going to beat you. Want a Werther's chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> then you got to go to South Bend and play Notre Dame. Notre Dame is going to kick your teeth in. Notre Dame is going to kick your teeth in. Then you play Charleston Southern. Why is that even on the schedule? at the end and then you get the florida gators oh my goodness i don't even think you can give tickets to that game away florida florida state used to be huge back when it was spurrier versus bowden that was blockbuster it was everything to see napier versus norville yeah. Yeah. you can't give that away Homeless people won't want, they don't want to watch this. You can bribe them with food and concessions. They still won't sit there. Just like, look, they, they're going to leave. They're going to go back to being homeless. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> That's not funny. Florida, where do you go? I'm sorry. Florida State, we got to stop. We got to stop. We got to stop the clown show. Do I have it wrong, Seminole fans? Do I have it wrong? I don't think that you all get to seven and five this year. No way. Let me know. This is Big Burn and App Stupid. Let's get it. <laughs>